In this lesson, you'll learn about polylines. More specifically, you'll discover why they're useful and how to create and modify them. You'll learn how to use the select similar function as well as match properties. A polyline is two or more line segments or two or more arcs or a combination of lines and arcs. A polyline can be open or closed. Polylines can have segments which overlap or intersect. I'm going to walk you through a project that I'm currently working on. This is a warehouse layout. We're using AutoCAD to help us visualize where we want to locate various work areas, how much space they're going to take up, and where they will be in relation to each other is important as that affects traffic and workflow. We have areas for staging, shipping and receiving, and spare parts. The first thing I notice is that the text I have here is too big for the spaces. I want to select it and change the text size. A fast and easy way to do that is to use the Select Similar command. I select one of the text elements, right click, and choose Select Similar. All of the text is now selected. I right click and choose Properties. I want to change the text height. Right now the text height is at 46. I'm going to change it to 30 and press Enter. Notice that all the text immediately changes. I was able to select all the text elements very quickly and adjust the size using Select Similar and Properties. Next I want to center the text in each space using the geometric center for each space. I verify that the geometric center snap is enabled on my object snaps on the status bar. I right click on a text element and choose properties. I'm checking to see the justification setting for the selected text. It's justified as top left. I change the text justification to middle center. I should be able to use the grip in the middle of the text to position the text inside the space and use the geometric center to locate it. It doesn't work. I press escape to release my selection. I need to figure out why it doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is the space isn't defined using polylines. They're individual lines. AutoCAD displays the element information when I hover over the elements. I have one existing polyline in this drawing right now, and that is for the lower staging area. In order for me to center the text properly, I need to set up each of these spaces as a polyline. I'm going to change my layer to border to make it easy for you to see what I'm doing. There are two ways for me to create polylines. I could use the polyline edit command and convert the existing lines to polylines, or I could trace over the existing lines to create a new polyline. I'm going to demonstrate both methods so you can see how the different commands are used. I enable ortho on the status bar. This ensures that any line segments I draw will be straight. I'm going to start by placing a polyline for the RMA area. I'm going to select the polyline from the Draw menu on the Home ribbon. I'm going to select a Start Point and right click and select the Width option. I'm going to set my starting width for 10 and my ending width for 10 to make it easier to see the border. And then I'm just going to move my cursor around the space and use the existing endpoints to help me create a new polyline. I right click and select Close to complete the polyline. For the spare area, I'm going to create another polyline, but I'm going to add an arc to the left side. Polylines can be composed of both arc and line segments. I right click and select Repeat Polyline. The polyline retains the last width value I entered, so I don't need to reset it. When I get to the point where I want to place an arc, I right click and select Arc to switch to Arc Mode. Once I have selected the two points that define my arc, I right click and select Line 
to switch back to line mode. To complete my polyline, I just right click and select close to close the polyline. I'm going to create a polyline for the top staging area. I right click and select repeat polyline. I missed the endpoint on the second line and that made my line segment a little too long. I don't need to start over. Instead, I can right click and select undo. This allows me to reselect the point I want and keep going. Then I right click and select close. For the shipping and receiving area, I'm going to convert the existing lines to a polyline. I can select the polyline edit tool which is located in the extended area of the modify panel or I can just type the shortcut PE for polyline edit. I type PE for polyline edit and select one of the lines for the shipping and receiving area. I am asked if I want to convert the line to a polyline and I press enter to accept the yes option. I then right click and select join to add the additional lines to the polyline object. I need to change the width to 10 so I right click and select width and change, and change the width value to 10. I then press enter to exit the command. Now when I hover over the rectangle AutoCAD displays that the element is a polyline. In order to position the text in the center of each of the polylines, the fastest, easiest method is to use the geometric center snap, which I'll demonstrate in the next lesson.